Greetings, fellow Dagorans, and welcome to, ep uh, I don't know what episode, but it's for the 22nd of September, 2014th episode of The Witcher Weekly. Joining us today is the normal host, George. Hello, and hopefully I sound smooth as fuck, or nice as fuck, because I got a new headset. Yeah. Yeah, there was no, looking at Audacity, there was no back, right background noise, which is quite impressive. No, you sound a fifty quid mic. You, you sound a lot better, and uh, only one hundred and fifty-four days to go, George, before release of The Witcher. One hundred and fifty-four days. Yeah, I'm guessing you have that on your phone as well. Yes, I do have that on my phone. Very excited for the release of this game, as everyone is. And is uh, just, is. just for people who I've not watched on Mardar, thank you for two hundred subscribers. We just hit it. And actually, when 211, we gained yeah, 11 we... subscribers in two days. Exactly. Not only did we hit it, we fucking smashed it. I mean, we've gained eight today alone. Like we had 203 yesterday. What a di what a week! What a week! What a week, guys! I I'm getting a bit a little bit emotional. <laughs> Just thinking about it. Yeah. Well. Um, anyway, t today's episode, um, <laughs> there's kind of a lot of tech information has been released by CG Project Red, so uh, George could have an orgasm to that. And he can kind did. of go through all the stuff. Then a mm. um, movie pilot had a go a demo of the game, and uh, they kind of we're, we're going to go through, through some quotes on there. It's kind of a long review that I read. I actually read last night, and uh, I highlighted some qu quotes. There's, I, I got three good quotes in there, which I really liked, and I thought I would share. And then um, we'll talk about yeah some more uh, another bit of tech at the end of the game at the end of the towards the end of the news which isn't kind of surprising really it's just kind of yeah we'll talk about it and then we'll go into the questions and me and George will finish off by talking about what's coming down with us so George really? would you like to know the settings for the PlayStation 4 for the graphical settings of PlayStation 4 for the Witcher Weekly 3 Wild Hunt so which you just said Witcher 3 Weekly Wild Hunt. Yeah. So which of the Witcher's <laughs> franchise has said, I fucking love this channel. Uh, we're, we're, na we're naming the game after it. Oh, no, do, you want, do you want to know, George? Go and tell me. 900p in 30 frames per second. Mm. Confirmed! Uh. Do you want to know the ones for the Xbox One? Yeah. 720p in 30 frames per second. Can't you say 720 back, right? 720. I did say 720, didn't I? It said 720. Oh well. Yeah, so uh, there. It's a PC buy for me, I think this is so far. Yeah, this is um, compared to medium graphics on the PC version. Mm. However, the PC, on the PC to get the full heights of the game, the minimum graphics card that KD, K Drama Masters said that you will need a GTX 870 dual graphics card. I don't understand any of that last part. But George can um, share some words. I, I, I don't... Wait, 870, let me just look up the specs. Did you say GTX 870? Yeah. Let's so have a quick look at the benchmark. Um, versus... I'll, I'll put it versus GTX 660, which one I've got. Uh, 870. Um, just, I'm just looking at GPU bus. But I would just like to say this. Okay, it's got 3 gig of dedicated RAM. It's pretty and quite to get ultra. But they normally go a bit OTT with them, think the benchmarks, but I don't know. That, uh, that's, the, that's the said the minimum requirement for to get it on Ultra. Okay. That's what they, that's what... Um, for Ultra? Yeah, for the top. That's the minimum okay. one you can use. So you need a pretty good, solid build to get Ultra, but I reckon I should be able to play high, medium. Yeah, like medium is the uh, is the same as the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, and, uh, and to but, be but, honest... But the thing is medium, I'd be able to get the 60 frames per second or higher. Oh, you always just, uh, PS4, PS4 is up to 30 frames per second. Yeah. Well, to be honest, what we've seen so far, you know, the games come footage and stuff like yeah. that, has been Xbox One gameplay. Mm. Uh, that's that's that has been Xbox One gameplay, and that is the right, lowest... Xbox button. Well, it's quite common in PC. Oh, no, oh, no, no, it was, no, it's been confirmed it was Xbox, Xbox One. Xbox One, what happens. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, it was definitely Xbox One gameplay, because that's what the, it's kind of on the Xbox one kind of field because they've got the collector's edition just the Xbox One. It's kind of like more centric for the Xbox One console when it's coming out and everything. So like 
No, because uh, I know what rights for a lot of us do, because they didn't want uh, one originally, which if we wanted to be an Xbox One only exclusive, didn't we ask No, the, it, it, Xbox One asked for the... Yeah. We, yeah, so they probably didn't get the deal to be an Xbox One, but they've probably made a deal that... They'll give you some money all, if you just do some... All advertising. Yeah. And then it'll be Xbox platform instead. That's probably the deal they've struck. Yeah. Um, like, uh, I think it was Destiny did it with PlayStation, like all advertising had to be on for PlayStation only. Yeah. But Xbox went around really smartly, and they were releasing this f- uh, fragrance called Destiny. <laughs> True story. <laughs> but yeah, so that's probably why we're seeing all on Xbox One footage. And I know he's gonna say the game still looks pretty goddamn good on Xbox One. Oh yeah, like uh, I think people going like looking at these and going, "Oh, the game's gonna look rubbish." I think you'd be far from wrong if you just look at the gameplay that we've seen so far. That's on your screen right now. You, you can you know that the game's gonna look good, and then yeah, it's gonna be. Well, it's going to be slightly better than that on the, on the PlayStation 4. Like, you'd have to have good eyes to kind of really tell the difference. But... It's in 2020 and 920, there's not much difference. Yeah. But, uh, I'd, uh, it's a big, it's a, it's quite a big deal breaker of people on the edge, to be fair. If you've got a decent PC and you've got PS4, you're like, I don't know which one I'm going to get on. And you heard that, you'd go, okay, PC. Oh, yeah, because this is. Uh, the Witcher is was firstly originally on the PC, so it's kind of yeah. classed more as a PC game. So, and they're kind of like a developer that's going to kind of, I think, mainly concentrate on the PC and then and look at the console I afterwards. Think I've stated before that I've been having struggles with it uh, running on a. Uh, yeah, there was no. It was surprise. It's like the consoles actually ran it originally. Yeah, yeah, they said that. They were like, okay, it's actually running it, but just. Yeah, yeah, like. P- p- Personally, I think that like um, what well, was kind of going to say. I think the, one of the, the main reason why I think uh, they have to kind of get it so low is because of like how big the actual world is and how big the game is going to be. They can't exactly go for the uh, full stretched yeah. out graphics to. I, I, w- I wouldn't say that because uh, it depends on draw distance. The draw distance you can have a build world as big as you want, but if the draw distance is short, that's the only amount of world you can see. But, yeah, but uh, the, the thing what will happy with taking it is how the game looks. Looks at the same time, like fast move and all that shit, and that takes a lot of pro- uh, processing power and GPU power, and that will be an issue. You can get world can be as big as it wants. Like for example, uh, one of the biggest games of all time, Daggerfall. That was a fucking huge game, but because the draw distance is small, that means is how far you can actually see, is how much it renders. So. Yeah. The size, the size of a map don't really affect. The... Oh no, no, no! I mean, no, no, I mean, like the environment. So say, like, um, what I was looking for? What was a, I had an example in my head when I, when you were speaking a minute ago. Um, do you know, like, on the end of that gameplay that we saw, huh? and he looked over into that vista. Oh yeah. Yeah, and it was like extremely massive, and there was like so much shit going down. Yeah, Things like that. Much, I mean. Shit going down, yeah. Like, there's like, uh, F, like when walls carry on some moving while you're looking at it, you know, it's not like plastic. The plastic, like, <coughs> sorry, still got above God. Plastic uh, landscapes, like things that don't move or don't interact. But we know which is very exploration based, you can go everywhere. And there's a lot of stuff it. happening, like, like look at, there's going to be monsters, battles happening even when you're not fighting. Yeah, so that's what's been draining power, it's just uh, how big the world is, like, how large. No, I didn't mean how large, I think I worded yes. it incorrectly. You worded it incorrectly. Yeah, and plus also I um, another example that uh, was stated that was stated on the um, on the website on the K- uh, KD uh, K Drama Masters. There's um, that the dynamic weather system that could possibly yeah. bring it down slightly. Yeah, that could be a, that. Is, that will be a factor as well. But yeah. yeah, it's a bit of disappointing with especially next gen consoles. It kind of shows that it's weird, but next gen next the PS4 and that. Uh, Still behind, like when Xbox 360 and PS3 came out for the price, and it was like, oh my god, it was above anything out right now. But when the PS4 and Xbox One came out, it was already a few tiers below what PC gaming could do. But it's inevitable, like I said, it doesn't matter how good P consoles are not about how good. Uh, I saw a point, I can't remember where I saw a point made made this point, I can't remember. But consoles are for casual, uh, for chilled back, laid back, who want to have a good time gamers. With, or, or, or gamers who just want to sit on the sofa, so, you know. I've, I've heard this point many times that you said. Mm. that um, What was it? But um, I actually think that, uh, 
Like, I, I agree with what you're saying in, like, console. Uh, console is definitely more of a, a party system. Do you know, like, say, like, you've got a few people around to play FIFA with, kind of kick back, sit back and do it that way. But, like, you get them, there is, like, definitely the hardcore people on the consoles. Like, you look yeah, at yeah. some of them Call of Duty players that play. Like, oh, because, cause, like, bring back the point we made in that Shadow Mardo video. Some games are just better on consoles, some better games are better on PC. Exactly. Like, for example, Witcher 3 is going to be better on PC, but we, I'm still going to PS, PS4. I prefer PS4. I don't know. I don't know what console I'm going to get. Depending on the specs, I'll look. Or, but, like, with games like FIFA, better on people got PS4. Exactly. This is why I depends, say there's no depends, Master depends. Race when people go on about me, see Master Race, and they can go crying in the comments. We got a comment in our what, Shadow Mardar video. Uh, I, don't know, I, don't know. I can't wait. Uh, the murder weekly. That's actually looks me the video. Yeah, uh, sorry, just put PC Master Race. Oh no, there's another one. I can't wait to prove these fools wrong with my PC version. <laughs> I commented. We hope you're right as a PC gamer. Uh, I want it to be good too, but you know. Yeah, like you me, can... I've got no preference, but I still think that I, I still think that I'm going to get this game on PS4. I still think that I will. I'm on the edge. Yeah, I like don't. yeah, like if something kind there's of a, drastically. Oh. There's some games that I would buy PS4 because it's got co and multiplayer, like GTA 5, which is definitely getting it. Sorry, back, 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 back. I will definitely get it on the PS4 because I want to play with Via Unity. De yeah. Definitely play with my mates, with like just you. Yeah. Well, but Shadow, like uh, Witcher, is a single player game. Yeah. I don't need to play with you. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Like Gaming is always funner with your mates, it's, that's for, just for M Starry. Yeah. When you some well multiplayer games anyway, I I hate playing FIFA online when I'm not talking to someone or playing against someone. Yeah, yeah. Like another point that I kind of wanted to make is that um, if you, if you are kind of on a if if you are definitely getting this game on a PS4 and X, or Xbox One, and you're kind of disheartened by this news, do don't be because really, what would you rather have in the game? The game to look a tiny bit nicer. Or to have loads of shit going down, a dynamic weather system, and kind of loads of things more in the game, or s look a little bit better. And feel a bit smoother. Yeah, like, and to uh, be honest, it, it, and to be honest, I think the difference is overrated. But no, that's another, that's another discussion. That's that's kind of, kind of discussion. This, it, it's weird. You haven't, right, played, I, I you, haven't played, you haven't played with 150 odd frames per second. You haven't done that shit yet. 150. I've got, I've got, I've, on my. Uh, Game, but I'm getting like near frames per second. It's smooth as fuck. It's weird as hell. Yeah, I know, I know but PCs, like PCs can have as many frames per second as your computer can handle. Yeah, I know, but like what what I was saying before is that like uh, the jump from 30 to 50, 60, like there's a difference there that you can yeah. tell, but it's not like it's unlivable. Like it, it's not that I don't think it's, it's like what. Un unlivable, un un like oh, unlivable. I it's unlivable. No, I said unlivable. Like. What? like it's not uncopable, like, you can, it's still definitely easy to use, like, it's not, and I won't say it that big of a deal, compared to how some people, uh, I think, I, will react. Okay, yeah, I, I agree with you. Yeah, so, um, yeah, don't let this kind of dishearten you. Let, but if you... Unless you're one of the, like, unless you actually think who, like, care about the thing, it's a bit bummer, but, you know, grow up, you'll live. Yeah, it's not the exactly, it's not the end. Exactly, and I think you will have to have very, very good eyes to kind of tell the difference between I'll the PS4. Tonight. If you if you like an Xbox One and considering to get the PS4 because they've managed to 200p or whatever, you're a fucking exactly. Twat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm sorry, but but no, no, the difference between you can see this. There's a difference between 720 and 1080. You can see the difference there. But set nine, 720 to 920, it's like, there's literally no difference. Yeah, exactly. It's there's like, literally no difference. You need to get glasses and go, okay. There yeah, go. it's like, it's like I remember when Thief came out, that that, that got drama, was it 950? Was it, George? 950 yeah. on, the, on the Xbox and 1080 on the, um, and 1080 on the PS4. And everyone was going crazy, going like, oh my god, the Xbox One's bad compared to PS4. And then the um, Review Tech USA put, like, two kind of like walkthroughs at the set at the same time right next to each other and you could not tell the difference it looked pretty much the same yeah, impossible. yeah. you can tell the difference between like it's, uh, it's, it's a good example like, there's, there's a huge difference between 240 and 360 yeah especially when you watch two videos it's weird how much difference but 360 480 there's a little bit different then there's 480 720 and there's a huge difference 
and then onwards to 1080 is a bit different. Yeah, exactly. Can you, can, like, can, you, can you just pause for a second? For a second? I was like, fuck, I need a shit. Yeah, so uh, I've just unpaused the recording the moment George said, oh, I need a shit. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So back to me, no tech difficulties this time. It's yeah. just that I needed a shit. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> yeah, like, George, you're on edge. I, at the moment, I'll still be getting on the PlayStation 4. Unless something happens where I win, like, a monster. Play- well, to be PC. fair, you, you, your computer will be winning. So, exactly. So, it's, so it's pointless yeah. for you to get a. Uh, not get on PC. Exactly. For me, that the games I can run on high is 2012 and below. 2012, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I can play up in 2014 below. I can't really win any modern, modern, modern games. From exactly. High, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah. Do not be. Do not be feel bad about it. So, uh, we will go on to the next, um, the ne- next bit of news, which is uh, a demo review from Movie Pilot, which come out and it was it was really long actually and it was it's it pretty good review covers all the dimensions of the of the two hours they had to play the game it was it was like a private deal i think for some press and um, they released their review first the link will be in the description i suggest you give it a read if you're interested to find out how and um some of the quotes that i kind of feel as i highlighted three of my favorite quotes that they put in and um george you could kind of comment on them if you if you wish but um the first one is um he described it like around about like halfway through the first page when he said it the game is a mature non-linear story drawn from playing decisions full of unexpected events and believable memorable characters with their own motivations and ambitions so it's, yeah we pretty much knew that from it certifies the fact that it's non-linear yeah but uh, like um i like how they put it out because it is kind of like a it's cg project red saying it themselves yeah, but like, uh, I thought it was like a nice quote to hear from like a, unless like there's some kind of cons- at the moment that we kind of see from like an unbiased source. That's kind of what like I, I doubt the well they won't be paid off, but like, but one of my favorite thing that I see at the front is a mature game. Because yeah. um, I know George, you're very immature. Fuck you. Yeah. So like, um, but I think that's kind of like a. The perfect way to to kind of keep it the, the Witcher way to kind of all the things that we're hearing here is very Witcher non-linear. Well, non-linear story is the only real change that they've got in there because how linear it really used to be. Player decisions, unexpected events, and believable, memorable characters. I think it just sounds very appealing to me. Mm. Like, it should... okay, so, uh, this is everything. Yeah, what did you say, Josh? I say it's everything you. This is everything you like and. Exactly. Games. This is me. <laughs> this is mm. me. Yeah, it's true. Like you, you're uh, like, <coughs> it, it, like it doesn't mean that I, I don't like other games, but kind of open world games with which is a non-linear story full of unexpected uh, events and believable, memorable characters with their own motivations and ambitions are the kind of games that I like. So I was like, yeah, I'm highlighting that quote and putting that in there. So um, one quote that I thought that I'd put in there that I thought would kind of get George kind of on side kind of like going like yeah I'm into this now is it but he went it is, he also described uh, he, he described like a little cave kind of battle that he kind of went through a kind of cave quest and he decide, described it as gritty horror mixed with suspense and dirty agonising battles good yeah I'm like fighting a, a few battles exactly I know you like your battles George I know you like going all in going yeah got that yeah, exactly. So, um, and the um, last quote that they kind of put in was um, about the environment is that TD Project Red didn't create an open world with a singular theme, but concentrated on delivering diversified and engaging environments thirty times larger than those in The Witcher Two. So, uh, yeah, th- these are kind of just a few of the quotes that we're kind of getting from this review. It's kind of like a very, very good demo review, and like it's one of the hundreds that we're kind of getting in there. And if you're really interested in seeing it, you just click in the description below. So, um, George, which kind of like, like after seeing kind of like all the reviews kind of thing that we've kind of focused on throughout the kind of we kind of, uh, throughout the show, it kind of all like fo- all the all the reviews that we've kind of got from the show over the course of time, like E3, Gamescom, and that all the demo reviews that we've had. 
what kind of game are you picturing in, at this moment in time? Like, the open world of Skyrim, but a bit more, like, prettier and, like, colourful. That's what I've, like, what the gameplay we've seen, we know this game is a lot more colourful. Um, third person, combat, brilliant combat and some amazing storyline with sex. <laughs> Yeah, that's the uh, an immature person saying, a bit well, describing a mature game. People, people who have followed this channel from day one know what I'm like, so yeah, not changing. Uh, <laughs> like, um, to me, was it? How did you? How did you really come to hear about the Witcher, Witcher Three? Because I really kind of got into touch with the Witcher through the Shard Pod. Witcher Reddit, Reddit's quite big on the Witcher scene. Um, my mates have played it, and yeah. it came from Steam sales, sales, and I've heard it on YouTube. I think a couple of people say it was good. Yeah. Word of mouth, really. Yeah, yeah, true. Like that, that's kind of that's one way I kind of liked about it. It's kind of like you're coming into it naturally, I suppose. Mm. Whereas, it's like, not it... done by adverts and. Yeah. Yeah, like. Internet, mate. Yeah. I'm hearing, uh, yeah, like, I, you're kind of hearing it from unbiased sources going, oh yeah, this game's quality, this game. And then I, I looked into the E3 gameplay stuff and I was like, shit, this is good. Then I watched loads more. And then we were, I was like, George, The Witcher 3, can't wait. I'm so excited. And then he was like, and then he was like, I know, The Witcher 3, can't wait. And then we was, and then we was like, well, should we, should we do it as a news? And then it was like, yeah, we'll do it as a news. We moved on. Yeah, and uh, I just think we'd look back, George, over these years. I don't think you look back. We, we will. So, uh, George, um, the next bit of the news that we're going to go into now is kind of like an engine that CG Project Red are using, and um, I kind of want you to kind of describe to the people kind of how big of a task this kind of is before mm. we go into it. Um, CG Project Red revealed that they have made their own engine for the game, and it's called Red Engine 3. In a brand new engine. Yeah, th th so. made just for this game. Made for just for Um That is a big, big benefit for us, I mean it's fucking huge good for us, but because uh, it's the third version of an old engine, they would be using the previous same code, but they would use old co engines use that, we can't just start from basic because that would take fucking 10 years yeah. but a new engine is huge if you, for example if you play FIFA the FIFA old engine, I don't think it really had a name I don't, I don't know. What no, all neither it. do I. We, we just called. It, I don't know. I never we knew the we, engine. We, we, know, we didn't call it anything. And um, you play, so you play the 360 version, which I did. And when you go play the ne next one, which they use the Ignite engine, you can see the difference of how, and how much more on the game. Yeah, like it, it is like real life on the, <coughs> on the screen. Um, everything, everything they had, have been added on FIFA is due to the new hardware and quite largely the new. Engine, like another thing we're going to talk about. I'm not going to go that much because I don't want to spoil the next episode of Shadow Model Weekly. In the Shadow Model uh, making of, they talk about they're able to use a new engine and how much beneficial that is for them and how much it can make the game look better and everything. It's yeah. a new en a new engine's huge for our game and very beneficial yeah. for the users as well, and it's better for them as well because I'll tell on more. Yeah, them. like uh, I'm not a techie person at all really but there's only a couple of things that I understand and that is like 720, 1080p and HD the basic stuff and I kind of understand that like Edge is kind of like the foundations of making a game oh. isn't it? Yes Josh. and if I do what I want to do as a job I'll be making them exactly or so. using them to make games because I want to make I want to be a game developer I'm off to uni for it I, I, so exactly. you know. If you see Farmington Productions in the next 20 years make a, t a triple A title game or make someone a billionaire it means that you're it. working for your brother. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, like, uh, it, this it, it's kind of a way that kind of like, uh, like I think you, well, you described it kind of perfectly, George. It's kind of like uh, not making, you're not stealing someone else's engine to kind of build your game around that. You're using your own engine to kind of build the game that the developers want to make. For example, here's a perfect example of it. You know Battle, Battlefield 4? Yeah, with the Frostbite engine. For Frostbite engine. There's a game which is using a Frostbite engine, which, if you think about it, really should not be using a Frostbite engine, <laughs> but it's funny as fuck, because it's using a Frostbite engine, and that game is PGA Tar, and yeah. because of that it's using a Frostbite engine, they're having fucking sh shit. I don't know, all the, it's That's like, what an engine can do, it can yeah. do so much more to a game. 
Yeah, it's just like, it's just crazy. And like, yeah, the like PGA Tour it looks actually exciting. If you want to uh, know what engine really does, uh, there's two free engines you can use right now for your per per personal use if you want to make games. And that's Unity and Unreal Engine. Uh, but I think Unreal actually costs £20 for one off, I actually think. But it's what quite a lot of Steam games. So it's, it's very uh, beneficial if you want to get into engines and use to make games. Otherwise, you're going to have to code it all yourself. Yeah. So use them. I yeah, and um, yeah, I just thought I'd add that this is the, like George said, this is the third copy of an engine that they've made. The, the first one was named Red Engine for The Witcher 1, and the second one was Red Engine 2 for The Witcher 2. I, I, I really don't think you really need to explain what they were called when we're, there's three and three engines. I just wanted, I, 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 oh, I, I just wanted to put it in there, George, because some, some, there's, there's idiots out there who wouldn't have known. It's kind of subscribers idiots. So, no, I didn't. I said there are, there are idiots out there. Mm. Yeah. Our subscribers are the, uh, some of the widest people that have walked the land. Well, it's I the think. people that haven't subscribed yet and are still watching these videos, so I would deem as idiots for not subscribing. <laughs> that is them people I'm talking about, George. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, it's kind of building off what they've kind of done before, but I think they've kind of... They would have definitely added a shit ton more to it because of the how much the game is kind of expanding and changing since The Witcher 2. So, it sounds like these developers have had, like, of kind of grinding the bollocks down to just kind of make this game a hell of a game. Yeah. Well, yeah, but... Uh, like, Unity's using a brand new engine as well in the Assassin's Creed game. Yeah, and like... Um, and you've I seen think... how much the Assassin's Creed Unity looks better and how much, like, in Unity, compared to Black Flag, it looks totally different and you can do so much more. Like, in Unity, you can, like... Seriously, go in buildings and then jump out of buildings, which has never been possible and shit like that. And yeah, yeah, it's like I remember him. Um, was what I, I remember in the early days when we was watching a uh, uh, Elder Scrolls Online kind of stuff, George. And um, mm. I remember we come across the um, in, in like Paul Sage kind of going on about the early days of development. They said the first two years was kind of like not making the engine they wanted to make, but they kind of took the Star Wars: The Old Republic engine that they use and kind of edited it, sort of. Like, yeah. edited not most of the code to kind of make it what they wanted, so that they could kind of it's kind of their own engine. And you said that that was kind of the first real like big chunk of de development time that they had before they first implemented anything. So, uh -huh. yeah, even I understand that engines are an important part. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, um, yeah, kind of good techie episode that was good techie news for the for that wasn't <laughs> for you, George. You love yeah, the news. I agree. You love the tech. Techy stuff, techy shit, smart, techy stuff, my shit. Yeah, let, 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 let's finish that off now, and then, and then in the future time, uh, CG Project Red can release stuff that's more for me. You always get stuff for you in these fucking episodes. I know it's brilliant, but yeah, you've got your, you've got your Witcher episode. Like most, like, you get all the questions as well. Well, I think you'll be when you look into the questions, John. You read the first question, which we're about to go into now, and you're about to read out. Oh, yes! So, <laughs> this, is first, this is the first question actually for. I don't think it's like one of my first questions for the target at me. I think it's been because, like, in Shadow of Mordor, like, some of them are law questions, aren't they? And they kind of go, sorry, George. Because, yeah. But now it's coming to tech. I'll just, I'm just going to take a step back. So, Arcania. Was, was you hoping for a game to be 60 frames per second? It's more of a question for George, really. Yes, uh, it's a thing I think with next-gen consoles should be required, but I do not blame CJ Project Red for not trying to gain it because it proves how good the game's going to be on PC and shit. So, you know. Yeah. Can't be helped. That's really it. Yeah, so like... I, really, I, I know Connor said, so you don't really give a shit. I don't care, but, like, if they were, in like, 60 frames per second, I'd be like, oh, cool. But, like, if it wasn't, I'm not going to be crying for bed in my bed every night. I'm kind of more happy that they've kind of Added more environmental changes. I'd rather have that in than 60 frames per second, personally. <coughs> yeah. So, I've got to, got to love that environment, George. Got to love that environment. So next, good old-fashioned Glory of Grey, which it looks like we're going to have another few months with him. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, f I, I hope that we... Some people from Shadow Model are watching this. And if you are, tell us you've watched Shadow Model and you watch this as well, because we'd like to know. But, yeah, to, yeah. Be honest, I, to be honest, I think a lot of the Witcher Weekly videos' views are from SOM because... It's kind of a game that they can relate to, so to speak, mm. like open world gay action, action adventure, open world game that they can follow. 
So yeah, yeah. I, I can see where they are. And Glow the Great is going to jump on that bad wagon with us. We're all similar. So I'm a flow in this game as well. I saw him. Ha ha. <laughs> my question. Ha <laughs> ha. That's what it is. Ha ha. But my question is, do you think Witcher 3 would benefit from not being open world, but linear like the first two games? Um, can I answer first before you put your answer in? Go for it. No, I don't think it would benefit. I think the open world way is, I think, is the best way to go, and especially for the kind of nature for the game that they're bringing out now, like with all the with with all the kind of like natural kind of quests that you're picking up, and plus like with with the choices that you can make, I think it will just make the game so much better. But I also can see where a linear game can kind of kind of bring it on because the first two, which is kind of no big time for the story, and to kind of I think if you are focusing purely on your main story, then a linear game is the best way to go. But no, I think for this game, I think they made the right decision by going open world. Another thing is with open world games, you can make them linear if you want them to. Exactly. Like, you can just just get to A to B, do what you need to do, and exa- you don't have exactly, to. Exactly. Yeah. You don't have to wander off. So. Exactly. Some, oh. some games do benefit from linear, but some games benefit from open world. And I, I really think which will be a game that benefits from the open world. Yeah. It's like if you made, oh, I'm trying to think of a game, like just off the top of my head. Let's say you made, um, oh god, The Last of Us. Let's say, like, let's say The Last of Us. You made that open world. I think it would benefit, but I think that would be much, much, much more benefit as a linear game. Because I think if you made that open world, I think it'd just be too many. I don't know. It wouldn't feel as dangerous as it would if it was linear. You know, like, if like, it was uh, over... the thing of Last of Us is, uh, I was probably saying, some games just benefit from doing what it is, and like, with Last of Us, a part of it is for scares and jumps. Scares. Open world, you won't get that as much as in your. Because yeah. it's hard to make you jump, do a jump scare with you when it's open world. Exactly. Like, where. It, it's dependent on which type of game, and I think. It's going to be very interesting of how the Witcher two, now the Witcher three is going to kind of establish itself as an open world game when we finally get to play it. But I also think that it's kind of bringing a hell of a lot more people to the franchise, like me being one of them, me and George being two of them. Like George, do you think you'd be following this game if? Well, I, I don't think I would be if it was kind of no one is this linear kind of storage of a game. Even though like I realised that the first two were unbelievable, yeah, I think mm. I would have kind of been driven away a little bit. But open world has kind of brought me into it. Hmm, I agree. Yeah, because yeah, the the my the my favourite type of games, my favourite type of games. So, uh, should we go to the next question? <laughs> yeah, so, Get all of Basingstoke. Woo! Do you not laugh at Basingstoke? <laughs> Stoke. <laughs> no. But anyway, I was just wondering which kind of quests are your favourite? E.g., is it fetch something or discovering something or a huge battle? For me, huge battle. End of. I like the I like the fight. I like the gritty and things like like some of my favorite quests. When you go in dungeon and you got a vast small dungeon and everything's near you, but like I hate the travel to high off guys. Fucking a and kind of likes that. That's because no, 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 the reason that he hates the travel to high off guy is because there is steps that you can follow. George decides not to follow the steps. The if you don't know where High Hrothgar is in the mountain, when you enter it for the 7,000 steps where George was, you've got to go fully over the mountain and down it a bit to the other side. So it'd be more sensible to walk around and be much quicker. But George decided to try and climb, and he got lost. Fuck you. Yeah. yeah, and then he was like, I hate that journey. It's like, I feel like if you followed the route, <laughs> then you'd, you'd not be there. It's like going like, oh, I hate going to Manchester. And you'd be like, why? Because I, I ended up in Romania. You of course gonna hate the journey, but um, yeah. Can you think of like a, a like a huge battle, George, where in a game which was like, wow, that is my favourite gate mission I've done. Well, I can't really say a certain mission, but my uh, the thing that proves my point is Assassin's Creed. I like getting a shit ton of Templars on me. I like getting a shit ton and then going through them all. I, I really do enjoy doing that Assassin's Creed series, and. That's one reason I'm really excited for Shadow Murder because you see, I've seen you see the gameplay, gameplay, the fuck up. Uh, you see the gameplay and you yeah. see all the people you fight. It's like, yeah, yeah. enjoy this shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, for me, oh God, this. I was actually thinking about this question today, 
when I was at, right. when I was at college and I was doing my maths. I was thinking like because uh, I saw this question last um, last night on on the wiki message, and I was thinking I actually think it's natural. Do you know the what natural ones that you found pick, like, picked up? That you've, right. the, I think the, the reason for this is because like I, I'd say my favorite quest of all time is a. Uh, I was I've been replaying Skyrim for the six hundredth time, and um, about two weeks ago I was doing this quest. I was just going through dungeons, kind of like seeing what loot I could kind of get. And I was just walking. I saw this chest kind of in a hall, and I was running up to it, and then the floor kind of collapsed under me, and I fell down into this kind of pool of water. And I got up the water, and I was in this cage, and there was this magician going, um, this mage going to me, going like, oh, another one who's fell off my trap, and there's like dead skeletons on the floor, and like that, and he's going like, oh, be prepared to die, and he's like looking into his book, and then I killed him, and then I was able to break out using my lockpicks, and then searched all the place, and then I found all this dark daedra magic stuff, and I was like, wow, that is a cool quest, and it was so natural, and I was like, that is probably my favourite one I've done. So... I'd, pr- I'd probably say the natural ones, but if you're going to go for a specific type of quest, I'm going to go. I'm going to go dungeon diving. Huh. Do you know when you jump into a dungeon, you got to kind of go through it to, because the objectives at the very end. Huh. I think they're my favorite. I think that's why. But I, I think that's why I like heists so much as well in GTA because they're kind of like a similar thing. Huh. If you understand, like, do you know when you're raiding a building? I really reckon you'd enjoy Payday too, then. I probably would enjoy Payday too. Because uh, it's like it's like GTA Heist, you know, what we'll promise for GTA Heist online. Yeah. But, but yeah. Online and actually available to play. And that's why I think I'd enjoy the original Arkham trilogy, because a lot of them's kind of going into a building, kind of fighting through, kind of getting to the end, to the objective, and then mm. doing the objective, and then or not doing it because that's how the story goes. I think that's how I, I think that's why I'd like him, but I think I'll wait till the Steam sale to buy the three. But yeah, I'd say they're my favourite. They're my favourite. But who doesn't love a huge battle, George? Who doesn't? Everyone loves big battles. Yeah, but um, I I would say that my least favourite ones is, do you know when you've got a like when the, the MMO quests? Yeah. They, I hate them. Go here, kill five wolves, come back. You have saved my place from wolves. You know, like, and then you see, and then you walk back there, and then they've respawned. <sighs> You just got like a chill down your spine there, kind of reaction. Yeah, fuck off. Yeah, it's like, ugh, like, ugh, it's like, when you, like, I'm gonna bring up my boy Angry Joe. Like, I, George, you're not too keen on him, are you? Like, you, you think he's alright? Yeah. Like me, I think he's my favorite of all the kind of review people that I've seen on YouTube, like John Rod and him. And, and stuff like that. I think he's my favorite, and he made a point with Destiny, which I will stand by. True in his Destiny Angry review, he said like a um, stupid quest with with a story is always seen as a bad thing and always go always moaned at for being stupid. Like in games like and he brought up games like Elder Scrolls Online, he brought up um, World of Warcraft and I think he brought I can't remember what the other game he brought up. And he said it's always been slated for. But when Bungie make a game and they do the exact same quests with a crap story, then it's seen is brushed under the carpet. And then I was like, Boom, he's got them all wrapped up in one. And I agree with him big time with that point. And then, like, I don't know why I'm mentioning it right now because it's got nothing to do with The Witcher. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, I just wanted to share that point. I was like, you, you've got that right. You've got that right. And then people in the comments were like, he has got that right. And some people were like, Destiny all the way. Fuck you. No one plays with the story. And we're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, move on. Uh, so next question is uh, uh, Sam Sam Craig. Sam and Craig. Oh, Sam and Craig. Yeah, I think that. I think that's it. Sam. Yeah, he looks Sam and Craig. Sam yeah. and Craig. Yeah. Hey guys, more of a question for our channel. Not weird. Really bad when guys change from what. Just when I day, just been been watching the channel. I'm sorry to say that we all do a video as well. For I'm gonna change you made request, but you did have some good series like yes, yeah, so Sunday and gaming and tips and tricks. Oh, so my is about your old ta- reminisce about your old time. Yeah, we've got a binge watcher. We had a binge watcher. We've that's- had a few of them. Like we know, we, we, I, I, I'm a binge watcher. I like binge watching YouTube channels, and it's weird that people are doing things with their content. Yeah, it, it does. It feels, it feels good. Okay. But yeah. I, I want to answer this because you answered this question. So fuck okay. you, Connor. Oh well, no, you could. No, you could answer as well. We're both answering. That's kind of the joy of it. Okay. Um, it was kind of a joint decision. We, well, Connor's fee for series, series. Uh, we did. We did for how many episodes did you do it for? Oh. 50. It was about 50, yeah. 
50. And uh, it just got repetitive and boring and... And I was what? just like, I don't, I don't enjoy doing this anymore. I do it as a chore. So yeah, I, I and, decided to call it off. And me with my series is the fact that I get lazy and stop playing games and then I stop playing them for like a few weeks when I go back to them. That's how I play some games. And that's not good enough for YouTube series. You want consistent uploads and the way I play some peak games is just not suited for that. So that's one reason. So, uh, uh, we stopped. Awesome podcasts. It's so. You, what was that, sorry, George? We fucking love doing podcasts. We do. These podcasts are our thing. Like, like uh, what is it? ESO Sunday. Well, we, we did have some good series like ESO Sunday. We stopped that because it, we loved ESO Sunday. It was one of our favourite series. But game finished, came out, end of series. It's going to happen with ESO uh, Weekly in a few weeks. So exactly. Game and tips and tricks. You go back kind of. Go say wait. Well, there were some good episodes like. Um, I actually look back at my three Skyrim episodes. I I, I rewatched them like about two weeks ago. Do you know when I was telling you, George, about some old videos that we watched? Mm. Yeah, I I watched them and I was like, them video is actually not bad. And then I watched some other ones like um, my Lord of the Rings Online one. I watched my uh, Soccer Manager one, and I was thinking, nah, that nah, good. But at the time, nah, mate. At the time, like I was thinking, um, no, nah, because you did one, didn't you, George, for Ultimate Team? Yeah. Yeah, and I, I was thinking, like, um, I don't know, I don't think, I, I didn't really, I, I kind of didn't really enjoy doing it as much anymore, because, like, I thought, I felt like if I was going to go to do it as a weekly thing, I had to kind of keep up to date with the games coming out, do you know, sort of thing like that. Like, I think, I felt it was a bit kind of stupid of me to kind of go back to go, like, five tips for World of Warcraft, even though you finished playing it two years ago. So, or something like that. I, I kind of felt like I didn't want to really do it anymore, so I kind of stopped. But... ESO Sunday, I'd still say that ESO Sunday comes under this kind of reign of podcast that was my favourite series that we've done on YouTube. Yeah, it, yes, ESO Sunday was brilliant because it, but it's, you see our videos and our old series and you see how much we've progressed. Oh, yeah, big time. Like, like uh, if you go to some of our face cam videos, the videos are actually good. God, they're quite. It was uh, we were so pixelated and stuff like that, and that's why we don't do it anymore. We actually got gameplay, uh, yeah. we've got music in the background, it's very longer, as you can tell me, and kind of sound better. Yeah. Um, especially me today. Hello. And saying it on this side. But actually, I should say something because I'm sending kind of Audacity file. Yeah, so you'll be fine. And it's been fine all episode anyway, so. Oh, Other so, than yeah. that one thing, it's a tiny minute ago. But go on. Yeah, so that's the f- thing, and. Um, we and it's shown with our this previous month seventy something subscribers in thirty days. Exactly. That's fucking insane for us, and it. Yeah. And I'm gonna be good, but yet always making the changes. End of. Yeah. If we would not have this, if we did FIFA videos, we would not have this if I carried on my Marvin series. That's why we've kind of progressed to doing podcasts and news and other things on this channel, and then switching the gameplay and walkthroughs onto Twitch, which will be more of a common occurrence with me exactly and like, sooner. Yeah, like, I enjoy doing Assassin's Creed, but what I didn't enjoy was, with YouTube, is how I had to stop playing after an hour and a mm-hmm. half. With Twitch, it with Twitch, it's just play, okay. and someone wants to watch you, they watch you. Exactly, exactly. And if you don't want to upload, just like don't, it's easy with with me and Twitch. Like I, I'm going to be doing more in the coming months. And um, oh, you but, play. Yeah, you like and plus, ready. and especially with PS4, it's piss easy. Press a button, stream sorted. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like and plus, I, I also say that um, like I think, all, I think all the new series that we've added have been. So I, I'd say it's one of my favourite. Like I, I would still say to this day that the best episode that I, the best video that I've ever made was my Elder Scrolls Online review. Mm. I felt like I did a good job with that. To be fair, it took ages. Uh, how long did that take me to edit, George? Was it about two weeks to edit? Two weeks, yes. It took me fucking ages, and it and it wasn't like two weeks of like dibbing and dabbing. Like I did like days of like five hours. I did like two days before the thing. I did like two days in a row, five hour at once editing because I wanted to get it out there. And then, but yeah, that will be kind of. The reviews are going to be kicking on now. Next one will be SOM, which will hopefully come out like three weeks after release or something like that. Mm. And then like the Law series as well, which uh, is the best edited series we've had, I'd say. Yeah, again, sorry about the lateness. Is but my side, I'm still getting my brother to fit. But brother's got to render it out, and I've got to 
So and I've got to download another soft piece of software because I'm a dud at the with number book. He's done it, green screen the book. So how to edit the pages, I need to use a different, so I can't use Camtasia. I have to use a more advanced one, which will take a couple of days to download because my internet is fucking shit. So fuck my internet. Blame my internet. Everyone. Blame exactly. So, as soon yeah, as possible, but... I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, like, and to be honest, I don't think it's a shame because, like, I think you, you might be going like, oh, there's no Lord of the Rings law series episode, but if we're looking at it, we are getting all this stuff in that it's taken a while to do because we're up in the quality of the bleeding episode. Like, if so, you, if you, cast upload weekly, yes, but they have fucking 20-odd people working for them. Exactly. For, for, see, we have two. And they've got a, ra- and they've got a rain of donors coming in. And we've got one person. One person editing. That's me. Connor's doing exactly. voice and all that. Connor does, I'm not saying Connor doesn't do anything. He does, but there's one person editing. He put me out. Probably like five people editing the video. Exactly. Like we've got. I do the. I do the research and the script because well, I'm doing the one doing the. Uh, I'm kind of like the one doing the law, and then I. I, I do. Lot more about wings. I'm, uh, yeah. Exactly. And, and then I my do. My voice is shit at times. That's, exactly. So. Fuck you, Connor. You just like exactly. You, you're gonna go. No, it's not that bad, George. No, but like you, you. you know it is. You yeah. know it is. So like. Well, so like and that's a sensible option like we'll probably that probably be changed like we kind of get that to kind of like a good quality and then I'll send then we'll send it to you and then you kind of do your magic of the edit and then we release it this quality episode and then when George kind of nails this like editing kind of thing it gets it completely sorted that the uploads will be way way more regular than what they are now like and plus though I think I'll be writing them more of a story based instead of kind of like a just kind of point after point after point it'd kind of be like it'd flow better so it's more interesting to hear and I think that'd be better but um yeah and plus I I, I look forward I used to look forward to doing ESO Sunday do you know when we'd be in the week I'd be like oh it's only Wednesday oh we, a few days to ESO Sunday then we do ESO Sunday and talk ESO for an hour and then we do and now like we kind of got it all week we've got Friday talking ESO for an hour Monday talking Witcher for, for an hour and then uh, bi-weekly of Wednesday, we're talking about Uncharted, that a game that is really early development and kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Speculating on what's going to happen with the game. It, 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 it's fun, I'm enjoying it. And, yeah, I, I'd say that, like, the enjoyment of kind of what we're doing now, John, is kind of kicked on big time, hasn't it? Yeah, I, I, I'm enjoying it due to the feedback and communication we're getting with you guys as well. That's a huge thing. The fact that we got 17 comments, well, some of us, yeah, but still. 17 comments on that video is insane. And yeah, we're getting, and plus, getting subscribers. I wouldn't I stopped doing with that if we didn't have subscribers. It's just more of a push. Like, yay, people like us. Yeah, exactly. It makes you feel good. If you're getting, like, if you're doing videos and taking ages to edit, and then you're getting, like, four views and people's going in, like, bad video, it just makes you feel bad. Whereas if people, you're doing it, and you're editing it, and then people are going, like, good video, so happy that this is here, you'd be like, boom, fucking great. We'll keep this up. But, um,. Joey, what do you think was your best video that, well, best video the channel was done? Uh, I really enjoyed my story behind the Last of Us uh, video. Yeah. Because uh, I didn't sound like a twat in that. <laughs> the music was good, the editing was good, and everything else was good. It's just, I tried to do it again with Portal, but the law was not good enough. And I only, I only really want to do a series of games that I actually really, 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 really enjoy. Because it's. thing. So if I. Find a guy, and I think the story behind it's amazing. I'll do a story behind video, but I just have not found them games yet. So yeah, it's a series which comes out once in a blue moon, and yeah. it may be back another day. It's a waste thing, but I love doing the Last of Us. Uh, the story about the Last of Us, the story behind, oh, story behind the Last of Us. Sorry, uh, is I had said well, the story was true, good, and I got all the information, and it was one of the first out there, and I think like yeah. 100 views if I remember correctly. Yeah, like um, I, I've kind of enjoyed kind of the, a, a lot of what we we've done. But towards the end of FIFA, I was like, I'm getting bored of this. I, I just want to play my career mode instead of stopping after every few games, mm. editing an episode. And it's the same with Assassin's Creed. So I thought I was just going to stop now and just kind of enjoy myself and do what the rest of the channel. And we've kind of kicked on. We've kind of flown on and left them days behind. Mm, I, and was, I was a bit off with a few new views. I got the next 94 views. Yeah. Oh well. So, it, like, like now, like I, I generally believe that this podcast coming out next month, where we're reviewing games, reviewing game, well, well, it's coming out in about a week. 
I think that will be my favourite episode that we'll ever do because I'm, I'm and, so pumped for that episode. And like we've both got our brand new snazzy phones. Yeah, like he's exactly. Got the SVG3, and it'll just be amazing. We're, we've got a three-hour game opinion podcast, and there may be some other things. We just we've got our talk, but still, it's going to be amazing. And a uh, pop, get some popcorn, get some food, get a drink, and sit down, and relax, and listen. Exactly. Like Do, you might like, probably. I have no idea what we're fucking going to use in the background. We'll probably like download a shit. Well, kind of. Do you delete all your video? Did you do you delete the videos you render? Yeah. Shit. Um, we'll figure something out to put in the background to entertain you. Well, delete delete the old videos I render. Yeah. What what what? Like what, old what? videos before uh, before you, after you upload them, did you delete them? M most of them, yeah. I well, no, but I was going to put gameplay in the background of everything. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, a lot to edit. For. But, yeah, yeah, it'll take a, it'll okay. take like but, I'll do it all in one day, but like my. Computer, my internet speed is really high, so I can download all the stuff really quickly. So okay. it won't take nearly as long as like it would you, for example. Yeah, I know. So yeah. yeah. So yeah, just on about our channel, so we, was, we got a bit in depth there. Oh, oh that was the only question. Okay, good my then. Um, but uh, another, um, another thing. Like, I, I thought we, I thought we had another question. That's why I was like, we're gonna end it there. But the matter now. So, but yeah, it, we we the podcast format is our basis and. Yeah, it's more than again. We without without podcasts, our channel wouldn't even exist. Exactly, like uh, well, Shodicast is the reason why we're kind of here. We're like, we like we want to do something our own twist on it. Hence why we go a shit ton more off topic than they do. Exactly, they, they like they kind of stay on topic of the game. If you notice us, we go a shit ton off topic. Yeah, I, I don't think I've seen a channel go more off topic than we do. <laughs> I, I, I mean, we're talking about random shit. I remember, what is it? The Tagore podcast. That was meant to be dedicated to the Elder Scrolls Online. We fucking tried to talk about the. Uh, that's why we changed the Tagore podcast. Like, we, we ended up talking about fucking driving lessons. Yeah, and then, like, I, I loved that podcast. And I think a lot of the people that watched it, I think they kind of. I think a lot, a lot of them, like, like, it got a few likes, like, and we didn't advertise it anyway. It was like subscribers watching it. Hearing stories people... from people apart from you and your mates can be hilarious. Yeah, exactly. I, I have a recently you pod when we're flipping the areas because you you you've never heard of it before and you it, it's good and you create the image in your head and it's funny. Uh, yeah, and like uh, next next go on podcast. I'm I'm making Connor tell you his dreams because they're yeah, funny well, as fuck. Yeah, well the the go on podcast is kind of coming under the Yuri game, wasn't it? Oh yeah, so yeah. Not for the next month, so like yeah, we'll probably yeah. slip it in at the end, but um. Yeah, like, like the one thing that we get with the people who said was like when we were thinking of making a YouTube channel was like, um, like oh we'll do games, we'll do this games. It was like oh you got to do something you got a you got passion for. That's yeah. kind of all the th things that we heard, and we was do things like well we've got passion for games, so we'll do this, and it's kind of not like that. Like we have a passion for games, but p playing them in a way that we were kind of having to stop it, it didn't feel enjoyable to me. But talking about them and like speculating what's going to happen, like I think that's kind of what we're. More passionate about, we're like we're passionate about kind of that aspect of like talking about and releasing it, and you can kind of see the quality. Like, if you look at some of the, um... if you watch our first uh, like S M Weekly, so that's a good one to contrast now because we're still doing that. If you pull up our latest one to our first one, God, there's so much difference. It like, is, yeah. It's 15 minutes long, just go straight through the news, and that's it. And there was no music in the background. background. We've got, we, we, we have our own opinions, we talk about, we debate, we get questions, we have music, it's, it's so much better. Yeah, like, um, one, one of the best podcasts that I can remember was doing, George, that like, when I actually, when we was doing it, I thought that this, yes, this is a good podcast. Mm. When we did the um, beta review of Elder Scrolls Online, mm. I th when, like, that was kind of, I think that was probably one of our best videos that we've done, because mm. we got so much into, like, the game. That we, we was talking about, and like if you actually rewatch it, like and it, there's like some funny bits in it when, when we're kind of talking to each other, and we actually go through a hell of a lot that people could follow. We we, we got a good response to that video, didn't we, John? Like we, we got quite a few likes on it, and uh, that was probably the best ESO Sunday. And to be honest, ESO Sunday, with, with respective to the other channels, like other series on it, that was like that was like four steps ahead, kind of ahead of the other series that we had at the time. Oh, like, oh, oh other series, like. Right? The Thief series it was good, but it just got. Didn't it wasn't right for the, the time. Same, 
Was yeah, like exactly. And, and it wasn't right for the channel that was kind of making. So just get it out. And any right. other Shadow Mordor news outlets there? We kick your ass. Yeah. <laughs> fuck you all. Yeah. <laughs> Come and fight us, fuckers. Yeah, they're like, we'll beat you on the battlefield. If you do shed your ass, you suck ass and you can suck my dick. But, you know. If you're, if you're watching this video, what about we, if you're watching this video and you kind of like followed us and you're kind of doing this new thing, hook us up. We, we might do something with you. Yeah, we were joking about it, but we just carry on making videos. We enjoyed it. You never know. Oh, yeah. Uh, just keep going. But some people out there, we have seen some Shadow Mordor news out of this, and I'm shaking my head. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, like one of the reasons why we've done the Lord of Rings of videos is there's no other one out there that's decent. We saw yeah, the guy like... get a lot of detail, yes. But he, the images were shit, the quality of his voice was shit, but it was, it was shaking my head again, you need to see it, I'm shaking my head. Just imagine yeah, the guy just shaking like... his head at this point we're doing. Yeah, because the idea for the Lord of the Rings law series actually come to me in the shower, and I, that doesn't mean that I think of YouTube ideas when I'm like washing myself, it means that I was just in the shower and I was thinking like, uh, every, do you know every time we talked about Lord of the Rings, George, and we got yes. like a ton of questions of like, Who's Clippy Ball? Who's this? Like, who are the Black Captors? And I was thinking, like, there's so much stuff in there that, like, people don't know and it's, like, really, really good. It's like, we could kind of tell more on stuff that people would like. And then I, I was thinking about doing what for Gandalf and I kind of, like, wrote up a mock script and I was thinking, hey, I'm going to do this. And then I told you and I was like, I want to edit it. And I was like, you can edit it, George. You can. And then you edited it and we put it out. One of our best videos. And then it's just going to grow and grow and grow. Like, I, that will probably take over as our main series when that kind of spirals on. And um, yeah, it's, it's good to see how we've come. Like if you if you've been here a long time, you know how much the channel's changed. Like a lot of, a lot of the old people that was here, I think they've gone now. I think what we've got in is mainly a new batch of subscribers. Yes. Like now like we had like back in the day when we was doing SOM and all the other series, there was too much coming out. So like a lot of people were following the SOM wasn't subscribed. And I was just kind of watching Shadow Mordor every time it come out. And then ever since we've just kind of stripped that down and brought up this new channel, lose people going like, oh yeah, they're doing news and talking about the games, we'll subscribe to that. And stuff like that. And then all the old ones going like, where's the old shit stuff that we liked? Mm. And they were like, unsubscribe. And we're like, yeah, that's right, fuck off, KSI, Edgy Apes, Nep. Yeah. Mm. But, uh, yeah, I think, I think we're, we're doing well. We're doing well. And um, I hope you guys are enjoying it. And it looks like you are, because you're subscribing. Exactly. Exactly. Like, um, some of the things that, like, are going to come come around, like, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be good for us. It's going to be really, really good. Like, okay, Eurogamer this year is kind of going to be very much YouTube-based for us, as it did, George. YouTube-based. We're going to go there, and we're playing games and enjoying it, but, yeah, we will be doing YouTube around it. Yeah. Like... For example, yeah, for, and hopefully, you never know, if Andy Salisbury's there, if he's there, good thing's gonna happen. We hope he's yeah. there, because he, he's, he's probably the only person there, unless there's another community manager, because that community manager... There is, there's two. Hope the community manager, sh I'm not being an arsehole, but should know who we are. Yeah. I'm not I'm not trying to be arsehole, but we're like big edit, but we're the only channel that does this weekly. We update it, we're on the wiki uh, uh, constantly, and we're, 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 the job of community manager is to see what we give feedback to the fans and see what we're doing and what we're reacting and we should know who we are yeah like it's not like we're, we're, we're i've been pretty active on the wiki like there's a lot of blog posts in that that have kind of been done to do with shadow of Mordor weekly like for me and that like, like, it's not like they're not been seen like i, I look at it with that look at the some of the they get in there are quite responsive and some of the messages that i get from it so like on the wiki terms degora tv's there so it's, mm. and like you know if you what you if you're watching this you probably come across it on the Witcher Wiki or the Shadow Mordor Wiki. Like it's kind of how where, it's where, kind of, where is Monolith based? Monolith is it New Zealand? Monolith or uh, It makes me wonder if I actually can get someone to come uh, down then. Or for people I'm just gonna hype them down. Yeah, like I'm I'm not because um, Michael the Platier is the is from New Zealand, but I'm not too sure. I'll have a look now. It's just loading the page. But yeah, like with The Witcher as well, like this series is only going to grow. Like, I think we're always kind of growing. Always. Mm. Like, I think every episode we do, um, Washington, USA, George. Washington, so they might not be your game, but I hope they are. Yeah. And like, 
it's good. We're gonna be, we're gonna be kind of there. We're gonna be there for a lot. We're gonna be here for a while now. Like I think if we just kind of, if I think if we kept on doing what we were doing, I think we might have died down hmm. a little bit, kind of filtered away. But with what we do, we kind of got a, str- a schedule which is not fully strict, but it can't be with kind of our level at the minute. Like we've got other stuff to do, like college and that. So it's not going to be completely hundred percent strict, but it's as strict as we can make it, and we kind of try and get it out as quickly as we can mm. or as close to the date we say so yeah I think that's kind of all we can kind of do for this episode Good. and it's been an hour long so it's not like a short episode no and uh, at least we we will always do these kind of questions at the end so if you people who just hear for the news can piss off and the people yeah. like us can stay exactly it's like option lab I think some people would like, they'd see the loser and be like yeah that's enough or some people might just skip to the questions there'd be, so, yeah. be two of each yep yeah. So, you guys, I hope you have enjoyed the episode. Like always, like, comment, subscribe, and share with your mates. And also, subscribe to John the Fellow de Goodbye.